guys, time for Hot Topics. Let's do it. Hi guys, so today I want to share another story with you. Today I want to talk about Real Housewives of New Jersey, Daniel Staub, marriage being over after two months. That's right, people. You heard me correctly. Two months. Now, I think I've known people that had stomach aches longer than this marriage. Now, this rumor started a couple days ago, and back then it was only a rumor. But today, it's no longer a rumor. Marty is standing up for himself and spilling the beans. And Marty's truth begins like this. He says that his marriage started to fall apart around Danielle's 56th birthday celebration earlier this month, where he was forced to cancel his credit cards due to Danielle's alleged abuse of his bank account. He says, her birthday party was the tipping point. I was left completely in the dark. I wasn't allowed to know who was invited. My family and friends were left out until the last minute only because I kept pressing the issue. There was no intention of including my family and friends, but I was expected to pay for it, which I refused to do. Now, right there, right there, right there, I have to stop you, Marty. You had no idea that you were marrying a credit card abuser? Okay, okay, not time for my opinion just yet. He goes on to say this arrogant, disrespectful, presumptuous, and entitled attitude I find disturbing. All of this is why I did not attend. You want to throw a self-indulged, attention-seeking party <laughs> for yourselves? Want me to pay for it, but I'm not allowed to know anything about it or to ask any questions? What kind of world do you live in? Now, I want to feel sorry for you, Marty, but I just can't. I just can't do it, Marty, I can't. You want me to believe that you had no idea None whatsoever that Danielle was a stone-cold walking narcissist. You had no idea. Even though there's plenty of footage of Danielle being a narcissist, there's plenty of people accusing Danielle of being a narcissist. And if that wasn't enough, there's books on her being a narcissist. And if that wasn't enough, there's plenty of interviews of her being a narcissist. But you want me to believe you were completely in the dark about her narcissism. Because if you're trying to tell me that she's this terrible, horrible person, she had to be a terrible, horrible person when you guys were dating. What, is that just something you overlook? Now, unless you're saying, I got sex on a daily basis, sometimes two and three times a day, so much sex that Bravo had to edit it out last season, then when she got a ring on her finger, the sex stopped or slowed down dramatically. That's the only way I could envision you being a victim. And even then, I can't feel too much sympathy for you because you fell for the old trick in the book. I mean, a lot of men are dummies to this trick. And so I can't really, you know, feel sorry for you. Sorry. Now, the rumor is Marty's sudden revelation of Danielle's narcissism has thrown her storyline into a whirlwind. Rumor is producers are concerned because they wanted to portray a positive storyline this year of her being married and showing a different side of Danielle than her old reputation. When? When, people? When is Bravo going to learn to leave Danielle's storylines alone? Remember last season when a racist tape was discovered of Danielle making the most blatant racist comments? I believe she called her... Hispanic boyfriend, a Mexican, and she kept uttering the N-word several times. Then her black producer friend went to bat for her to get the tapes edited out because she claimed Danielle's not a racist, and so they edited it out. Now, I totally disagree with this. I feel like if Danielle Staub gives you prostitution whore tape, then prostitution whore storyline needs to be in the storyline. I feel like it would be much more interesting, you know, for Danielle to stand up and say, I'm not a racist. I was just high on drugs or whatever the excuse was. But the other way around gives us no storylines at all. And I just feel like Bravo owes me another good season of The Real Housewives of New Jersey. Because after what they pulled last season, I can't take it anymore. I can't take it. And if they air everything exactly as it is, then I would know whether to feel sorry for Marty or not. Because right now, I'm a flat out not. 
Nevertheless, the rumor is Danielle plans on fighting for her marriage. There's just one small problem. Marty isn't talking to her. And in my opinion, that might mess up the entire reconciliation process. They really do need to show this. They really, really do. In the meantime, let me know how you feel about this in the comments section. Do you think Marty was blindsided by Danielle's narcissism? Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification button for more stories like these. Until next time, talk to you then. Bye.